Hey Dad! May I ask you something? Why is summer hot? And why is winter cold? Maybe it's because, the sun is closer to the earth during the summer, isn't it? Good question Liam. But you're wrong. If it were as you say, the coldest month would be July, the period when the earth, is at the maximum distance from the sun, this phase is called aphelion. And the hottest month would be January, during the phase called perihelion, when the earth is at the minimum distance from the sun. I can't figure it out, dad. So why is it hot in the summer? Well, you are such a curious kid. As you already know, the earth revolves around the sun, but it's not perfectly straight. The earth's axis of rotation, is inclined about 23 degrees from the ecliptic, the plane on which our planet orbits. During the winter months, the sun's rays have a greater angle of incidence. In practice they hit the earth at an oblique angle. And such an inclination results in less radiation, that does not heat the atmosphere, and the surface sufficiently. On the other hand, in summer, the sun's rays arrive perpendicularly. And the radiation is maximum, causing temperatures to rise considerably. It is precisely because of the inclination of the Earth's axis, that the seasons alternate, opposite between the northern and southern hemispheres. Actually, if we have just celebrated the winter solstice, summer has begun in Australia and other countries in the southern hemisphere. Okay, Dad. So, we could go to the beach in Sydney, in the winter, and Sardinia in the summer. You little rascal. We barely have the money for the pool around here. I know, Dad. But I don't care. I love being with you, even if it was in the desert.